Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Me, Ryan118, here today. We are doing the final Celtic Transfer Talk video of the Celtic Transfer Talk series for this transfer window, the summer transfer window of the 2017-18 season. The time for talk is over. The transfer window is shut. Every team's completed their business. And today, we're just going to talk about it. I'm going to summarise my opinion on this transfer window for Celtic. But before we get into that, very quickly, I want to clear up something that I was talking about in my video I made this week. Uh, it was my video on the, my opinion on the Celtic board and how they've been handling transfers and finances over the past few years. My opinion generally on Peter Law. A lot of people were agreeing with me and seeing where I was coming from. I think there was one point of, of miscommunication though. A lot of people were saying, and I agree with you, Ryan, but we need a centre back, and you've got to understand that and stuff. I was like, yeah, yeah I do understand that. We needed a centre back. Centre back was needed heading into this Champions League group stage. I was just saying that we didn't need to go out and spend bags and bags of money. We didn't need this big name signing as people were crying out for. We could have, you know, just... It's just my opinion. Don't need to spend my bags. I did a game in the centre back. Just wanted to clear that out. And we will talk about that in this video. We'll talk about, obviously, my opinion of the transfer market, the transfer window this year for Celtic. So let's just put that behind us. Uh, I do appreciate everybody supporting that video, though. It was a good video. A lot of people seem to agree with me. Obviously, if you did disagree with me, I still respect you. So, aye, everybody has their own opinion. Anyway, the transfer window's done. Celtic have completed all their business. And I feel like this transfer window has been looked upon a bit too over-critically and, over, and, and just over-harsh. You know, a lot of people have been overly harsh on Celtic, the board, Brendan Rodgers. I think they have just been too critical. I've seen it on Twitter. A lot of people complaining, like, we've, we've not done enough. We've not improved enough. We've not signed a centre-back, this, that, and the next thing. I think we've just been really too critical. And we need to step back and look at it from the wider, the wider scheme of things. I think it has been an incredibly successful transfer window for Celtic. Just my opinion. You might agree, you might disagree. And once again, I'll reiterate, I do respect other people's opinions. But for me, this is an incredibly, uh, incredibly successful transfer window for Celtic. Years gone past now, we have seen our best performing players for Celtic. Virgil van Dijk, Victor Wanyama, Fraser Foster. We see them getting plucked away from us from the English teams down south. We see them getting taken away from us all the time. And it was the best season in a long time for Celtic last season where we went invincible. So many players put in fantastic performances, fantastic full-on seasons. And we managed to keep a hold of every single one of them. Not one key player was lost for Celtic. And... Yes, we did see a lot of players not even get linked to clubs. The likes of Scott Sinclair. Never heard anybody down in England want him, for example. But we kept a hold of every single player after the season they had last year. And we've got to look at that as a success in itself. It is massive we kept a hold of every invincible player last season. Every player who had such a great season. We have kept the chemistry. We have kept such a good team together. A good group of players. We didn't lose one. We thought we lost Roberts, but we done a damn good job to get him back. We held out and in the end we managed to get him with competition from down south. We have still got a very, very strong team. We have not weakened an area, any area of the park, but we've strengthened. So that's why I don't see why we should be too critical on the, the, the board, the manager, whatever, on the transfer market itself, the transfer window, sorry. We shouldn't be too critical because overall we have not weakened in any sense of the word, if anything, we have strengthened. We have still got a great team. The likes of Joseph Semenovic, he was linked with every fucking lower league, no, no lower league, lower half, Premier League team uh, in, in, in the Premier League. He stayed, which was lovely. Great news. Players like Moussa Dembele, maybe if he got injured, they would have been a, uh, got injured, be a different story, but we kept a hold of him. We got Patrick Roberts back, we kept a hold of the likes of Tom Rodgers, Stuart Armstrong, we managed to keep all these players we have kept at Celtic for at least another year, which is magic, which is great. And it's what you want to hear and what you want to see. We needed to do that and we have done it. We have kept these players at the club and that in itself for me is a massive takeaway from this transfer window. We have kept such a great group of players together and we have not weakened. Building on that, we've even developed for the future, the likes of Kundai Ben you brought in. We've increased our depth and positions like up front with this Odzone Edward. I can't remember how you pronounce it. We have increased depth and we've increased our first team strength. Olivier Cham has added so much to our first team. He has came in and all round he's a great player. He can pass, he can go forward, he can defend, he's got great pace, great strength. Overall, he's such a well-rounded player. We have improved depth, we've improved youth, we've improved our first team. I can't speak. We have had such a great transfer window in my eyes and yes there is a couple of negatives that you can take from it but these negatives for me just can overshadow or over 
take these positives that we need to look at first before we go on to say, aye, but we didn't get a centre back. It is understandable. It is annoying that we did not increase our depth heading into such big games like PSG Rangers, where we'll have one fit first team centre half. It is annoying, but at the end of the day, we headed into this transfer window with three great centre halves, three good centre halves for Celtic. Semenovic, Boyat, and Sviatchenko. And then suddenly, injuries piled on. And that's where the worries began. So you, not going into this transfer window, we weren't ready to go out and buy, and go out and buy a centre half. It just suddenly dawned on us. And we've got to really take that into consideration. Is it that bad a thing we didn't get one? Yes. But we didn't have really the thought of going out and getting one before everything was suddenly piled upon us. So it's quite understandable. And I, we did still have a bit of time and we've seen these performances from Baton, etc. It makes us think we need a centre back, we're shaky. But we tried, one fell through and it was just a setback and another setback. And it really puts us back to, to you know, right, right back at the start where we wanted to sign someone. And we can't really blame Celtic for someone failing a medical. So at the end of the day, I it's disappointing, but these positives for me really outweigh the negatives and we should look at them before we go out and look at the negatives, which many people are doing on Twitter. We really need to look at these positives first because we have made great progress, we have strengthened, we have not weakened. And that for me is the main takeaway, the main point we need to look at from this transfer window. I feel like too, too many people have been too harsh just because we never got a centre half. We got Patrick Roberts back, that's fucking good enough, that's what we're crying for. So we got that, we need to be satisfied, first of all. It is annoying, I understand that, and if you if you think it was a frustrating transfer window, I'm not saying I, I hate you, I'm just disagreeing, giving my opinion, I respect your opinion. But I, on the inside of things, I thought we had a decent transfer window, no really any big name players. Johnny Hayes, once again, another player who adds to this depth in the team. We have increased our depth, which is nice, which you have to do if you want to progress, and we've done that. On the outside of things, not much to talk about. Obviously, a lot of the stuff is just loans and young players moving on from the team. Um, Gary McKay, Stephen, Ryan Christie, a couple of the names, Effie Ambrose, who are the you know, bigger names that left the club. Good to see Ryan Christie go and develop another team because I don't think he was going to get the chance to develop at Celtic this season. So he's getting to go and do it at Aberdeen now. A much better fit as I think, I think, I think, I think he will develop a lot better there than the chance he would have at Celtic this season. Trying to break into the team with players like McGregor, Armstrong, Rogic and, and Cham. It was never going to happen for Christie this season, so the fact he's getting to move away and do it for a year is a, a nice benefit, I think, from the outside of things there. But overall, for me, I think the transfer window is a good success. I thought it went well. And when we get these centre-backs back and fit, I, it may be too late for games such as PSG, for example, but when they're back and fit, I think we'll look back and go, it doesn't matter that much now. And if it is that bad, then we have January to, to you know rectify the mistake if you like we've got the january transfer window but right now i'm satisfied with the team for me it's, we kept an invincible squad together and that was going to be difficult you know great performances and we've kept them together which is massive and really important so i anyway if you've enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe don't much to say let me know your opinion on the transfer window for celtic i didn't have too much to say just my overall opinion to give and uh, hopefully this season will be as successful as last i trust Brendan and such with the transfers. Good man. Love you. Anyway, thank you all for watching and until next time, I'll see you all later.